Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a coffee mug with a handle, and then we're going to texturize it in, or render it with a texture in Rhino 7. So go ahead, if you want to follow along, go to New, New Design. Let's go ahead and go uh, Plan View, and let's go ahead and create our uh, shape. Um, let's see, you want to go to sketch. We're going to go ahead and grab our rectangle. And we're just going to kind of uh, drag it out here like this. We want to do this one. We want this side to be uh, 40. We're going to do it 80. And then we want the lower part to be 100. So go ahead and put in 100 there. And then we have this rectangle that's like this. So now we want to go ahead and go to the create rounded corner. Create rounded corner is this one. And then we're going to put a little fillet in there. Two millimeter. And we're going to put a, a bigger one in here, seven. Okay. Now I want to go ahead and go in sketch here. We're going to revolve this around. So we'll go ahead and click on it. Go to the revolve tool, we'll click there in the midpoint, and then we'll do check the full pull. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and spin this. We have to add, add a plane out here, so go ahead and select the plane. And we want to add the plane. Right there, add a blue one, so go ahead and click that, the Z axis. All right, now we're going to go ahead and go change your view up here to top view. Then go ahead and go to sketch. We're going to put our, our um, handle in there. So we're going to go ahead and go. Um, let's end sketch there. Let's go ahead and click on the plane and go to sketch. There we go. Grab that line tool. We're going to go um, right here. We're going to drag out 30, then we're going to drag down 60, and then we're going to come in here like this to here. Then uh, select the click off. Now we're going to go ahead and get our uh, create rounded corner right here. We're going to add our, our rounded corner here. Let's do 20, and then we're going to do another rounded corner. 20. Okay, so now we're gonna hit, we're gonna go in sketch there. Let's go ahead and spin this. All right, now we need to go select just that endpoint there, like that. Drag a marquee around it so you see how it's glowing green like that. That's how we want it. Now, when you go back to the sketch, you get this little uh, red and green crosshair. That's where you're going to put your. We're going to we're going to make instead of a round one, we're going to make a rectangular handle. So we're going to click there. We're going to come over here to define from center, and then we're going to click that point there, and we're going to drag. I want this to be uh, 20. So let's go. Uh, I think that's good there. 20, 22 by. I can't really read that. My cursor's in the way six I think it's 20 by six okay so type in 20 and then do a six okay now we're going to end sketch there all right now we're going to go ahead and click on the we're going to click on that piece there then we're going to do a uh, this one here which is a sweep and then we're going to do two clicks to select everything and then we're going to do a full pull so now we have a handle like this you're going to select the click off Let's go ahead and spin this, make sure it's not too ridiculously thick. Okay, we're going to have to land up moving this a little bit, but that's okay. So now we're going to go to pull. Select all those. Let's mess around with the pull and see what kind of fillet we can get away with. Probably no more than two. So let's go ahead and type in two. We still want to do the bottom, so go ahead and multiple click there to punch in two. Then we're going to do the top or the, this left side. 
our right side, type two, and then we'll go ahead and spin this. And then we're gonna go pull, we're gonna go to the bottom one, type in two there. Okay, now we're gonna get this little multiple click to get all those on the side. And we're not gonna do two there, we're only gonna do one. So type in one there. Let's spin that. Mm. Actually, don't do that yet. Let's do undo, yeah. We don't want to do that yet. We're going to move this. Okay, so now... Got should have two solids. We have a handle. We have this. Okay, so grab that solid by clicking on it in the structure tree. Go ahead and get move. Let's drag this over a little bit. Right to there. Okay, that looks pretty good there. So now what we're going to do, don't really need this plane anymore, so I'm going to click on it and hit delete. Now we're going to go to our top view, make sure that this handle is, is where we want it to be. I need to move it down a little bit, so we're going to select in the structure tree, we're going to go to move, and then we're going to drag this down just a little bit. That looks good there, I like that. And we're going to go ahead and spin that. Uh, I'm going to move it up. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. So we're going to go select this. And we're going to drag up. Let's undo that. Let's click there and type 2. We're going to do 2 millimeters here. Then we're going to spin it. And then we're going to pull 2 millimeters here. Let's undo that. Let's go two. Okay, two. Now I want to pull this out too. So go two. Okay, I made it a little bit thicker. Let's make sure that's correct. It looks good. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to select that. We're going to go to a shell, but instead of one millimeter. We're going to do a much bigger shell than that. So let's undo that. Let's go to the shell. And let's type 4. Four. Four millimeter shell. Okay, so let's go ahead and spin that. That looks pretty good. Okay, now we're going to go to pull. We're going to put a little bit of a fillet on here. Okay, so one point. Let's undo that so I can give you the exact amount. I'm going to click there to 1.3. Okay, now we already have a round fillet on the inside, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, now let's go ahead and see if we can, since I moved that, let's do, what was it, point? Let's go to pull. Point two, was that point four? Point four, point six. Let's try point six. Point six looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and go to pull. It's multiple click. Point six. Now we'll go ahead and spin that, make sure that's how we want it. Okay, we have our fillets everywhere. We have a fillet right here, so it adds some some uh, strength to the to the mug so it won't break. Alright, this is gonna be our, our coffee mug. Let's go ahead and go to the view, view from top. Go control minus. Let's do an isometric view. And then we'll go ahead and spin this. See how this looks. Okay, I like how that looks. So we're gonna go ahead and save it out. Let's go to file, do a save. Call this a coffee mug. And then we're, then we're gonna go into uh, Rhino. We're gonna add a texture to this. 
So go to desktop, we'll save it as a native design spark mechanical file. Then we're going to do a save as and save this as a uh, change the file type here and scroll down to STL. And then we'll save it as an STL on the desktop. We're going to go ahead and close that. Now we're going to drag our coffee mug on top of the Rhino 7 icon. And then we're going to go ahead and open it in millimeters. If you don't have a Rhino 7, um, it's, uh, it's a good program. You can get a trial version for 180 days, which is really long. And then um, even after it runs out, you can still go in here and you can create parts and you can uh, learn the program, but you just don't have the uh, opportunity to save. So um, not a problem. I mean, mine ran out and I still use it to do a lot of different things. So and then if you do learn it and you're proficient with it, you could always uh, um, you could always buy the program. So we're going to click on the mug there and we're going to go ahead uh, in the render window. If the render window is not available, just come over to your panels. Make sure that there's a check marks next to materials and it will show up. So we're going to go ahead and click there. We're going to click on the plus import from material library and go up to ceramic and we're going to add a blue glaze. So you could either click and drag onto the object or you could right mouse click do assign to objects and that will apply the, the texture there. Now the second thing we want to do is come over here to the rendering. We want to add a uh, solid color to the background. We'll do a dark gray. Hit OK. Now we want to go ahead and go to view to be able to see this and we add, add a ray trace texture. Ray trace is a little bit better, but keep in mind that it has to go to a thousand before it's completely finished. So if you want something that's not going to move on you while you're doing while you're making changes, go to the regular render tab. This one you could you can move around, um, and it's not going to it's not going to affect the rendering. Um, and then when you get the mug how you want it, then you can go to the ray trace. So we could also try a color like, uh, we'll go back to the materials, we'll click on the plus. We could also try a ceramic and try something like uh, uh, the crackle. Try that one. That's kind of this uh, kind of trippy looking crackled. And then there's also um, import from material library. We could do ceramic. Then we could do a porcelain one, a stoneware. Stoneware is this color here, or we could even do a few of them. What we could do is go ahead and go um, undo, undo. Let's get back to the blue one. We could select all, and then um, I believe if you hold down control, you can copy with this. Undo, or actually, no, you know what? We have to go up here and do a copy. So we'll just do uh, punch in copy. Um, print from copy, no, there we go, we're just going to do, we'll do three, three mugs. Oh, I didn't want three like that. Let's go ahead and do this again. Copy. Enter, select objects, this one, enter, we'll just click there in the center so it's easier for me to move it. We'll go one there, two there, three there, enter, got to get rid of one of these, delete, and let's just drag this over a little bit. Okay, so now we can do, um, not really sure why that got, oh, that must be the leftovers from the other mug. Okay, so we can go do a zoom here, type in zoom, and then we want to do dynamic. So dynamic, you just uh, scroll or go to here. Okay, this looks good. So now we're going to do multiple colors. So we'll go ahead and uh, select this mug. We're going to go to part from library. Let's go to ceramics. We're going to try the crackle on this one. Drag it over. We'll do a blue one. We'll do um, 
the plus there. Let's go to uh, import from library, go to ceramics. Uh, we'll do porcelain. Okay, now we have three mugs here. Now we can just go ahead and spin this a little bit. That looks pretty good. I like that. And then um, we can go here to the uh, color in the background and maybe change it to a little bit darker color. I think that's as dark as it will go. Let's try a, let's try a brown, orange. Let's just try different colors here. Gray, I think, is going to look the best. Or even a red color would look good. That looks pretty good. I like that red. It's kind of hard to look at, though, for too long. I'm going to pick that color. All right. So um, this is our coffee mug. We uh, created it in Design Spark Mechanical. We revolved this piece around. We did a uh, sweep on this on the handle. We added some fillets. Um, then we went in, went into um, Rhino 7 and we added uh, three different uh, ceramic textures. Okay, now I'm going to do a little screen capture. You hold down the Windows key, Shift, and S's and Sam at the same time. And then you just go ahead and drag a marquee around the area you want to take a picture of. You let go. takes a snippet. And then you uh, go to your paint tool paint program click there in the window do control V as in Victor then go ahead and crop it and then do a save as and then you're done with your with your image save it as untitled to the desktop as a JPEG and then go ahead and uh, close the program okay that's going to be well, we won't save changes there uh, no I don't want to do the program we'll go ahead and open up uh, or oh, I already uh, did the design spark mechanical okay that's going to end today's tutorial hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got some useful tips out of the video and as always thanks for watching